what are Tua's skill sets? What do you see when you look at Tua, Tungo Vailoa? His skill set, skill sets other than your ability to pronounce his last name. Yes, sir. <laughs> By the way, I'm showing off. I'm showing off. I'm showing off. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. So many people in my business botch it um, like crazy. Yeah. You know, uh, there's. I'm excited about. Uh, uh, first of all, of having uh, you know just talking to him and getting to know him um, in, in this stage of the calendar year. Uh, he, uh, I'm really excited about the the eagerness and his uh, his his uncharted or untapped potential in that regard. Um, but on on tape, when I just watched watch him play, um, you know. He, He's one of the more accurate quarterbacks that um, I, I've been able to, to to study, and that's that's super exciting. Um, you, you don't get the opportunity to um, really even study that many left-handed quarterback, quarterbacks when it all comes down to it. Um, and it, but he really spins it and makes it uh, just his ball placement, his his uh, you know he'll stand in the pocket. He's he's not scared of anything that. Um, a really good quarterback has to be not scared of. So um, I, I'm just excited about being a part of his journey um, because I think there's there's a lot of growth there. And um, the biggest thing is he's willing. You know, he's really willing to do it, um, and it's hungry. And you know, there's a lot of pressure put on the shoulders of a, a top ten quarterback draft pick. Um, and and you know, my job is to really take that pressure off his shoulders put him in situations that he can be successful and um you know let let him accurately throw to uh whatever eligibles are around him and compete and go win football games well and again i know it's not your team anymore but uh, with you here I, I figured i'll take this swing um um in the few minutes i have left with you mike mcdaniel uh is huh. do, do you think trey lance is ready to be a starting quarterback in the nfl you saw what was going on behind the scenes you saw maybe when he did get more reps, uh, I spoke to him right before the Super Bowl. He said he grew as a quarterback more in the weeks when he got the reps because he was starting. What are your thoughts on that subject matter, Mike McDaniel? Um, talking about the San Francisco 49ers and the Trey Lance. Um, yes, sir. You know, not, not in the building anymore there, Rich. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, my time with him, um, Yes, uh, it, it was exciting. My time with him, he... he you talk about a dude that was um, willing and able and, you know, wanting to be great, that he himself knew that um, there was a lot of stuff to work on. He had just been on a freaking long circuit of you, you got you to gotta remember these, these draft picks when they come out, um, especially ones that, uh, you know, most of the season gets canceled. You're just preparing for a pro day nonstop for like a calendar year. And then you, after you do your pro day, you're doing more workouts Then you get drafted and you jump into football. So it's, it's a grind for them. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure my time in San Francisco is a, I wouldn't even know what to say in terms of that, that judgment of it. You started, started football games and won football games last year. So, you know, if the 49ers choose to um, have him as their starting quarterback, um, I'm confident that's with good reason, knowing Kyle and John Lynch. And if not, it doesn't really mean anything. And that he's, you know, going to keep working. And you know, I have no doubt that that the picture and the product that I was around mm -hmm. was not the final product. So for me to sit here and say he's going to be X, Y, or Z would be uninformed. And that's not why you had me on the show. No, I, well, I also knew, uh, Coach, that uh, you're not with the, the Niners anymore because you scrubbed them from your Instagram account. <laughs> you, you totally scrubbed it from your Instagram page. So I saw that. You know, I noticed well, that. Well, uh, let's be fair. Yes. I'm not sure what you saw because I've never had an Instagram oh, account. Oh, that's, uh, that's yeah. a wrong one. It didn't have the check mark. Wow. That's, you know what? That's my bad. Damn. Um, uh, no, I've, n I've never had one because my wife made sure I wasn't on social media before Instagram came out. Mm. Okay. That was a Facebook L that I took back in 2011. So I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been on I haven't been on any social media really. Um, a Facebook ever. L. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.